Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. Today, I'm going to show you a little quickie tip uh, for ATC cards for beginners. A lot of you um, about what is an ATC card and all that kind of thing. I know I've done many, many videos on this, so I'm going to go through very, very quickly, and I'm going to show you a few things that you can do um, with things that you might have around your house, just for some different things. Who knows? Well, let's go. So, an ATC card is... Any type of paper, what the heck did I do with mine? Yes. Which is, it's two and a half inches this way, three and a half inches this way. So this is your card. This is your standard ATC size card. And artist trading cards is what it is. And they are for you to trade with other people or for you to make small pieces of art, which is essentially what it is. Uh, in my group, All Things Creative, I'll have the link down below. There is an ATC swap going by Susan Bush. And every month they do it. She gives a theme. You do the cards on the themes. You have partners and all that kind of thing. It's a lot of fun. Now, I know a lot of you are new to mixed media. A lot of you are new to artist trading cards and um, art journaling and all that kind of thing. So I'm going to show you on an ATC card what you can do, but you can also take this to your art journal, to uh, anything that you want to do and play around with. So let me show you. Okay. So first... I have just a little bit of washi tape. I don't know if I'm going to use it, uh, but I just I just picked a few kind of new, more neutral. I don't even know if that's even considered neutral, but some colors that I was going to use. Now, I save a lot of my cardboard, and I save a lot of my pasta boxes. So something I'm going to do today is I'm going to take this pasta box, and I'm going to cut it to the ATC side. But what I'm going to size, but what I'm going to do is I want the the uh, cellophane window, right? So I'm gonna turn this over and you can see that's what it looks like on the back. And I'm gonna put this like this. And what I'm gonna do is take my pencil or pen and just kinda give me an idea uh, where to cut. You know I'm horrible with, <laughs> with measuring and all that kind of thing. But what I'll do is I'll cut it here so then I have this for another ATC card to cut up. So you don't have to go buy anything. You can use this. And again, all you have to do is take your ruler and you're going to measure, see, two and a half, right? Two and a half by three and a half. And that's how much, that's all you have to do to measure it. Oh my God, maybe I should clean up today. I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to cut this out basically on my lines, cereal boxes, whatever you have. I'm just using this because I like the little loopy inside. So then you take, you know, can you save these? Will these be other ATC cards? Look, you can get another ATC card out of that. So there's a lot. Why is my camera off today? I don't know if my cat was down here playing around with my camera. I don't know, but I don't like it. Okay. Um, it's very weird. Uh, I'm very off. So you can see that you can definitely go and just measure this, cut it, and you have, of course, you cut it a little bit evenly, and you have your next ATC card that you can go play with. So now you have two. So if you're in the swap, you just got yourself two ATC backgrounds, right? Cards. And again, you can measure this. You can, you got this piece that we saved. It's all over. So um, that is tip number one. Okay, now tip number two. Get all the garbage off here. La, la, la. Okay, so I'm going to take this. Now, obviously, I'm going to either paint this or put paper on it. But what I want to show you real quick before I do that is, now I made this with, uh, I think it was mixed media morsels I made it. Cir it was Circle Day. Um, I think that's what it was from. And um, you can see, so I can set this on here and look, you get that picture coming through. So now I can paint this outside and decorate it. And this would be what comes through there. Very cool. And you can obviously pick any part of that that you want. That's number one. Number two is if you have a piece of scrapbook paper that you might have something that you like. So you can see here we have some butterflies. So see how cool that would look like coming through. It's more muted. Um, or I have a tree because, you know, I love me my trees. And then you can get that right where you want it. 
and you can have it in there or you can get the big butterfly and do it that way. So you see how you're using it as your gauge, right? I also have these and these look really cute in the middle too. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm just going to show you. And okay. called preparation cow. All right. So you see, we have these, they're the same, but look at that. Look how that would come through. Right? So cute. So fantastic. So you have so many different things. If you don't have any of those done, right? And you might have a, a favorite stamp that you have. You might have things at home that we stamp with that isn't a normal stamp. Whatever. Use paint. Use ink. Whatever. You could take a piece of paper. Any piece of paper. I got my bloody hands here. And you can stamp. Like I think it would be great to do a bleeding hand. Right? I'd stamp that. Maybe I'll end up doing that. And then this one fits better. You could put it in the window, you see, or like that. We got some blood spatter. That's a good one. So, I mean, really, your options are open, open wide, okay? So first what we're going to do is we're going to be very carefully painting this right here. Now, this is cardboard. This might be, this might need to be gessoed. So I'm going to gesso this and then I will be back to show you where we go next. Okay, so now I'm going to decide. You can see I just gessoed the back. You can see I got some little bit of gesso, you know, here and there. And you could take a Q-tip and wipe that off or just take your nail when it's dry and very gently, you know, or the back of your paintbrush or your pokey tool, your pokey thing, you know, whatever. And give it a little cleanup if you want. But for this, I'm not going to bother. Okay, so now i got to decide what I'm going to put in here so I know what color scheme I'm going to do. So, I'm going to either do, I'm going to do it pretty easy so it's not, you know, I'm either going to do this, because I really like the eggs. I think it's just cute looking, right, to do that. But I really like playing around with a part of this. I don't know. I really like it. So, I think what I'm going to do is do some pink on the outside here. And I'm just doing very basic, very, very basic. So I'm going to grab some pink, pink paint. Um, maybe pink, maybe I'll do a base of pink and a little yellow. We'll see. Okay. So real quick, like I said, I'm not going to play too long because I can get lost in my head and just have a blast painting and having fun. So I'm just going in and I'm just going to do a base coat. And I don't care if some of that comes through the back because I did it a little um, textury, like I went like this with the white. So it comes through a little bit because depending on what I'm going to use, I have, you know what I mean? It's going to pull up some texture and color and just fun. And like I said, you can make these so pretty or you can make them, you know, whatever you want. If you like it, sometimes a little different kind of art, uh, you could stamp a little you know, stamp something on a piece of paper and put it in, color it with crayons, color it with your uh, colored pencils and whatever, and put that in. How fun. Just measure this on the back. I'll show you. Oh, this dries for a second. You might want to get a smaller brush to get into the details, you know, into the little parts right there. Like I said, for sake of time. And I'm getting a little bit on there. But when it dries, it'll come right off. So I'm not going to worry too much about it. Just going around. Going around. All right. Okay. All right. So you see, we got that going. And what is this right here? Let's see. I think i got to take some of that white off. But that's all right. Okay. There we go. So if you take this, right? and put it on a back of a piece of cardboard or whatever, you're going to see how much that you need, you know what I mean, to cut. So you have this if you want to draw or stamp. So all you'll do is essentially take your pen or pencil, draw an oval, cut it out, and then you lay it and you glue it on the back after you put that nice picture in there or stamp. It's a very easy, a lot of fun. And if you want me to do a video on that, I'll do that the next time. 
So I got this. Let's figure what we're going to do here. And I'm going to pick. I mean, you could do it whatever, whatever way you want. I'm not going to worry about drawing it right now. I like a little bit of that white in there. I think it looks cool. It's just mattering. Hmm. Where do I like that in the middle? I think I like that in the middle. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it. Save that because I'll be using that piece again. Okay, cut it. Also, I'm going to leave it as wide on the back because it'll just give a little bit extra stability, uh, you know, but you don't have to. You can cut it so it matches the oval. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glue on the back of here. I'm just going to use my glue stick. Use whatever glue you have. And my paint probably is not dry all the way, but I'm just going with it. And I'm going to lay this down. And give it a push. Push it real good. Now I know that that pink <laughs> is, uh, and I can see some of the glue coming out. Now look, it picked up some sparklies from my desk. I don't know if you could see down in this corner. I don't know if you can. I don't know. Probably not. There's a few sparkles. I don't care. I don't like it. Because I'm going to add other things anyway. You can see that little bit's hanging off. Watch this. Oh, all gone. Right? So you see how easy we're starting this already. The heck? Oh, that's my glue. I'm a mess. I'm a mess. There we go. And it's glued on there. And just push it around. Now you can play and decorate on here whatever way you want. You can add... Uh, this is more of a prettier kind of thing, so I'm not going to so much crunch it out, but I have a few of these things that I'm going to put. I have some really cool flowers that you could put on, right? You could put on a, a flower that you want, any color that pulls out from the back. Look at that. Really, really cool. You could just dress it up like that, put little crystals in the middle. You can put... Oh, there's so many delicious things in here. One second. You want to put a butterfly? Put a butterfly. Do you know what I mean? Glitter it up. Add it on there. There are these delicious flowers as well. Look at that, how it just changes everything that you do. You want to put a word? Put a word on the bottom. And you see how you can really build up and really do some good stuff with that. I want this flower right here. Come here, my friend. This is a flower cut out of jelly paper used with a little, uh, see that latch in there? I can't remember what those are called. Those are those metal things that you put in and you spread their little things. I can't remember. But look, and that has all the colors going in and out of that. So you can really just have a blast and do something so simple. It really was simple. It was all free stuff that I had sitting here. And now you go decorate, take your jelly, uh, your jelly pen, or if you have a pen that writes, you know, on acrylic paint, um, write beautiful words. Oh, you know what else you could do? I'll show you real quick. And then I'm not going to keep you here forever. This is adorable too. Let me show you. I love this with the, with the leaves. Oh my goodness. And then you could put some glitter on the outsides. Good gods. The ideas that just keep coming to me. Okay, give me a second. I'm a little slow today. <laughs> Medication uh, tends to do that to me. Uh, last thing, that's why I brought over the tape because you want to line the edges. You know, you could just cut this a little bit. Let me show you because I like the colors of this. Now on the back of this, there is a line where you can cut. A lot of them have it. Um, so you know that you're cutting straight right now. That's all right. We all know that I'm not straight. <laughs> all right, so you see you have this. And then I struggled to get this off because, let's face it, my name's Kelly. That's what I do. And then let's say I'll lay it just on the edge. Okay. And then I'll fold over. 
If I don't want it as thick as I cut it, it's up to you. And then you'll go and you'll fold it and stick it down. And then you have edging, you know what I mean? On whatever colors you want. You, I have the blue, um, the blue glitter. I have green, so you see what I'm saying? The green would bring that out. Oh, let's try that real quick. It's, it's ridiculous. I get so excited when I do these things that, that I'm like, okay, it's not going to be a long video. And then I start playing and it's like, I don't know why anybody watches me. Okay. So, cause I could just sit here and play. Look at how cute. Now you can put it all on, but I'm not going to, I'm going to, I mean, obviously I'm not evening it up right now. You want to make sure it's even. And you see, I'm doing that. You can cut the rest off if you want to cut all that off. Or I like just to bend over. I always like to bend over. And um, that's what she said. All right, all right, enough of the jokes, Kelly. Enough of the jokes. And you see? And then you have that. And you can see the dots are uh, clear, right? Because they're when you put them on and that pink comes through. So look how awesome. So you can see oh, this one's probably because the paint's a little still wet. But you can see different things that you can do. So much fun. I hope you guys join the ATC group, uh, the ATC swap. It's so much fun. I could sit here and do ATCs all, lay, all, all day, all day, all day, all day. So let me know what you guys think. Give me a thumbs up if you like seeing uh, these ATC cards made because I will do a couple more videos because I know a lot of you are, are new and I'll just do plain old, you know, videos of uh, inexpensive ways to do them because, I mean, look how really cheap and easy. And like I said, you can go and write and, and do all kinds of fun stuff. So I love you guys so very much. And as always, please be kind to each other. You never know about somebody else is fighting. And you guys make me so freaking happy. I just love you guys. All your love, all your emails, your comments, everything. I just love it. And I just hope you guys have a fantastic day because you all deserve it. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.